Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to take a look at what we call continuous compounding. It's also known as exponential growth. So going back to our equation where the amount accumulated is equal to the principal invested times the quantity 1 plus the rate divided by the number of conversions. Typically in banks we use M equals 365 because we do accumulated interest every day. So that's called three, the number of conversions then would be 365 because there's 365 days in a year. Raised to the M times T power. T of course is the number of years in which your money is invested. In previous videos we saw that for yearly compounding monthly compounding, daily compounding, and hourly compounding, we would have accumulated amounts like that. And you can see that as the number of compounds increase, the benefit gain becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So the difference between compounding daily and compounding hourly is only three cents on a $2,000 investment at 5%, not, not really worth the effort. So what would continuous compounding give you? Well, it turns out in the limit, as M approaches infinity, as M becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, go from hourly to every minute to every second, you can imagine M becomes a really big number, and eventually when M goes to infinity, this quantity right here, raised to the MT power as M reaches infinity, is equal to E to the RT power. E is that, that uh, natural number, 2.71718, uh, and so forth. It's a natural number that appears in, in nature, and so anything that grows exponentially will grow according to this equation right here. So then we put a P in front of it, we can then say that the accumulated amount is equal to P, the principal invested, times E to the RT. So bacteria grow at this rate, world population grows at this rate, anything that grows in a natural sense will grow exponentially like that. So let's use this equation to see if we get a similar, similar result or what would be the advantage of doing continuous compounding. All right, so we can then say that A is equal to the $2,000 invested times E raised to the rate 0 0.05 times the number of years times three. So let's see what we get. All right, so we have uh, 0 0.05 times three that's 0.15, and we use as an exponent e to the x. So you find your e to the x button on your calculator, e to the x, and then you multiply that by, and let me show you what you get so far. So this will give you 2,000 times 1.16183423. Again, you don't need that many numbers there, but just so you can compare to what you got on your calculator, Multiply that times 2,000, and you get the accumulated amount to be $2,323.67. Now let's go ahead and compare that what we got before, and notice that's the exact same amount as hourly compounded. So when M becomes infinite, the accumulated amount after three years is the exact same number. 323.67. It's actually a little bit more, but when we round it to the nearest penny, you can't even tell the difference in this case. So you can see there's really no benefit in doing continuous compounding over hourly compounding, and just a small amount of benefit between hourly compounding and daily compounding. So again, banks use the daily compounding, and so that's how we calculate on a daily basis how much interest we earn, and we add that to the principal, and that's how our banking system operates. So now you can see the various ways in which we do compounded interest, and that's how we do that.